what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking joss 4 here bring us the best class setup for the vesper from black ops 3 beta now the vesper may change once the full release of black ops 3 comes out so this is just for now for the beta and also for the xbox one players who are going to get a beta next week so be prepared because this class setup i'm telling you is going to take out everybody who's on your face it's an instant kill i promise you and you're going to be able to win every single close battle in, in the match so um, it's good for every single game mode except from long range keep it from medium range and short range the weapon will be perfect now moving on to the setup we got ourselves the vesper which is the last smg to unlock right now for now because i know they're going to be upgrading the levels all the way to 38 after today or maybe like soon that like can half day or something i'm not sure because right now we are capped in level 28 so the Vesper is going to be the last weapon to unlock, and I suggest to save all your tokens in order for you to unlock the following attachments. Now, moving on to the attachments that are going to help, that is going to help out the weapon become even better and also uh, unbeatable when you comes when it comes down to the actual game. Uh, the first attachment is called the grip. Now, this is going to settle the weapon down. It's going to lower the recoil. It's going to be able to like pinpoint accurate, you know, every single shot that you shoot from the weapon, and it's perfect for short situations because the hip fire is also affected by the grip so add the grip attachment in order for you to have more accuracy for the uh, vesper moving on to the next attachment which is called the quick draw now this is quite important because if you want to beat everybody one-on-one -on -one, add the quick draw this is very important if without it you can you're just going to be able to carry like just a regular ssmg you may have the same damage but you're going to be slower when it comes down to short range battles so when somebody just pops in your face uh, what are you going to do about it? You just, you just can't aim that quick. It's going to be regular aim and it's going to be a little bit slower. Maybe like half a second slower and you're going to be dead. So I suggest I suggest to add the quick draw because when they shoot you first, you are going to be able to have a chance to take them out. So that's why the quick draw is very important because it's going to save you that one time when you get shot first and you just aim towards your enemy and you're going to take them down. That's what's going to happen. Moving on to the next attachment, we've got ourselves the stock attachment. Now this one is quite important. If not, you're going to be all sluggish because we all know this game is kind of slow pace. If you want to up your game up like on speed, you're going to have to add the stock attachment. So every time you aim, you're going to be able to move out like a little bit faster every time you aim. And when there's another enemy coming by you should be able to like sway to the right or left to throw him off and that's gonna be able to like uh, make him miss some shots against you and you're gonna be able to have uh, the little bit of a flank attack on your enemy like 10 feet away so add the stock attachment because it is very important for short range situations now all these attachments that you can see right now you know that you're seeing right now are perfect for short range the grip is going to keep you accurate especially from hip fire uh the quick draw is perfect for short range situations and then the stock attachment you're going to be able to like juke out your enemy a few times and i've done it and you guys see my gameplays on this weapon and you know there's a the proof Moving on to the next uh, thing, we got ourselves the perks. Perk number one, I got the flak jacket. And yes, you can have you can have whatever you want, but I prefer the flak jacket because I know how people love to throw grenades all over the goddamn place. You know, this is how it is in Black Ops Beta right now. Everybody's just popping up grenades like crazy. Uh, the next one, we got ourselves the anti up or anti up. I'm not sure how you want to say this. Uh, this is, allows you to start with a bonus on your score streak media. So you want to you want to reach a certain score streak a lot faster at uh, the anti up it's kind of like hardline or you know like for example uh, the one in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare card hardline is gonna give you extra points every time you kill someone well this time it's gonna start off with uh, I believe 100 points or 150 points in your score streak so all you need is like maybe like two to three kills to get a spy plane so uh, it's going to help you guys out on the score streaks. Moving on to the next prayer, we got ourselves the Blast Suppressor. This is going to keep you even more stealthy along the way because without a silencer on your weapon, you're going to be pretty much caught. So if you want to sneak behind the enemy lines, you're going to be able to see it like a large crowd. The Blast Suppressor is the way to do it. It's going to allow you to flank the enemy and even come up behind the enemy, which is super good. So add the Blast Suppressor to at least add some kind of stealthiness to the weapon. So... Um, the second perk I want to add a little bit to it, you know, you can add also whatever you want, you know, fast hands is even going to make you a little bit more faster and everything, but I have the anti up because I already have, you know, the quick draw 
and um, with the quick draw, it's pretty much like fast hands. So you really do not need fast hands, just in case you're wondering like, what if I add fast hands? You know, is it gonna make a difference? It is gonna make a difference. You're still gonna be the same speed as the the quick draw, so it really doesn't change that much on speed when it comes down to aiming. So um, just add the any up. It's gonna prevent you from having two attachments at the same time. I know it allows you to like reset frags and maybe swap f uh, weapons a little bit faster, but in reality, you're just gonna carry one because with this class setup, you know, it doesn't allow you to actually carry a secondary. So there's really no reason to be carrying the fast hands. Okay, that's a little bit further explanation. Just in case you guys were wondering or questioning, maybe I should have something else. Add the anti up in order for you to guys to get uh, the kill streaks a lot faster. Moving on to the next equipment, we got ourselves a frag and the concussion over here. But you can have whatever you want. You can have the Samtex, Trap Mine, Thermite, Combat Axe, or C4. And then on the tactical, we got ourselves you know a bunch of stuff here, a bunch of fun stuff. Um, you know, I usually use the concussion. You can have whatever you want on this option. So that is it, guys. That's the best class setup. This is gonna allow you to take out enemies one v one like nothing. I promise you that it's gonna be maybe like 0.2 second of a kill. That's how quick this kill, this weapon is. It kind of reminds me of the Scorpion Evil of Black Ops 2 before the updates. If you guys used the pla the Scorpion Evil on Black Ops 2, like in the first month of Black Ops 2, that's how quick this gun kills. The Vesper, it is a speed devil. So subscribe for more guys see if you guys want to see more Black Ops tips and strategies and also more best class that is going to help you guys out in the game.